In the Yakima Valley Museum is a strange machine, actually two machines joined together, which was built to be a labor-saving device depending on whom you asked. This artifact tells the story of a pioneer, a goat, and a dog named Shep. The Gleed family, who ran a dairy farm in the Natchez Valley, owned this device. James Gleed had been a soldier in the 11th Illinois Cavalry during the Civil War, so he was entitled to receive a homestead of 160 acres from the government for his service. In the spring of 1878, he and his family left their home in Pueblo, Colorado to make a new home in Walla Walla. The morning of May first broke bright and clear, Mrs. Gleed wrote in her diary. We took our leave with light hearts. But because they were warned of a diphtheria epidemic in Walla Walla, the Gleeds decided to continue on to the Yakima Valley instead. Despite the long journey, their faithful dog Shep walked nearly the entire way. The family arrived in Yakima City on August 20th, 1878. On Christmas Day, they moved into their cabin on their Natchez Valley homestead. Churning butter was a chore for Mrs. Gleed, so soon after their arrival, the family ordered a Davis Swing Churn. This machine, patented in 1877 by the Vermont Farm Machine Company, could turn 10 gallons of cream at a time into a butter. The churn worked by gently rocking the cream, making it roll over itself again and again until it turned into butter. The churn could be operated manually, but the Gleeds bought an attachment called a First Prize Dog Power Treadmill so that the job of rocking could be turned over to their goat. The churn was located inside the creamery and connected to the treadmill outside. The goat refused to work the treadmill though, so the job went to the faithful dog Shep, who disliked it as much as the goat did. Come churning day, he would sneak off into the bushes or belly down underneath one of the buildings. The Gleeds would vary the days for churning, hoping to catch Shep unawares and nab him before he knew what was happening. The scheme must have worked as James and Sarah Glee operated the dairy and produced dog churn butter until 1899.